Hi, I'm Warren Liang of the Bay Area Dragons, and this is my story. So I, I grew up in uh, Vancouver, Canada. Um, I grew up in the east side of Vancouver. Grew up in a um, family that my mom and dad, they worked all the time. Um, I had an older sister. Nobody really played sports in my family, but I don't, I don't really know how I ended up picking up the game of basketball, but like I was always that kid that gravitated towards the basketball courts. And um, whenever it was recess or lunch break, like the first thing I would do is run out to the courts and play. Whether it rain or shine, I'm always out there. Um, I'm a first generation in Canada. My mom and dad both uh, immigrated from China to Canada. My dad, he's from the southern side, so he's from Guangzhou. And my, my mom's side, they're from, uh, they're Bay Fongren, so they're, they're from the northern side. Um, so we kind of have like a mix like of, of the culture, like of both sides in my family. So like, you know, go, going through Chinese New Year's or certain holidays, like we'll be eating jiaozi and like, like dumplings and like the little uh, Tongan, like so we'd, always, we'd do all those type of cultures. I went there when I was around 11. That was like my first time going there, um, just to like meet some of my family. My favorite memory in China probably was, it was, very, it was a very unique experience, but um, so my mom's brother, my uncle, he used to be a taxi driver and he would, take us, he would take us to the mountains, like we were in Guangzhou, we went up there. My favorite experience was one of my most memorable experiences is we would see all the animals there like and we would pick up, like he would pick up the snake and like they would ended up cooking it and stuff like that and like that was my first time trying something really weird but like that's one of my most memorable experiences. <laughs> I never really thought what I would, I would be able to get out of basketball. I kind of just really loved the game growing up. Um, like growing up in the West Coast in Vancouver, we were like right after school, like around 4 p.m. Right when I got home, they would have like the basketball games on. I remember watching like Tracy McGrady, Yao Ming, those guys playing. And then as the night went on, I would be watching all the Lakers games. Like around 7.30, that's when the game would start, like when we were about to eat dinner. And I would always be watching Kobe and Shaq those guys like so I don't know if those guys really inspired me to play basketball but I just always had the love for the love of the game I, I didn't really play a lot of organized basketball until a little bit later until I was around 13 14 um, I got to give a shout out to my high school coach Jeff Gorley like he really took me up on this path of going to playing basketball seriously, taking it seriously. And he's always been extremely supportive of me opening up the gym. Um, and he's still doing that for the kids in that community. So I went to Sir Charles Tupper Secondary. Um, like I was very lucky to come across Coach Gorley because he, he used to, he started off running these free basketball camps for us in our community. And that's kind of how I started playing organized basketball. I would go in there, you know, we play there Monday to Friday. But he really put that idea in my head of that with basketball, this could be an op like opportunity for you to be able to get go to university, um, help out your parents because financially, like school is really expensive, and like that's just like kind of been on my mind from there. And then, like when I was in university, um, like nobody ever thought like I'd be able to play pro, and like in my head, I just always wanted to like as a goal of mine. And, I came across a couple opportunities. Um, I started playing with the Vancouver Dragons, which was an ABA. I played a few games back home. And then I came across an opportunity in Macau where we were playing in the ABL. And then like a crazy thing happened that, that year when I was playing Macau, that was my first year in Asia playing. Well, I actually, um, like knew some of the guys on the team. Um, I was in contact with Glenn a lot, and he I was, he definitely helped me get get here. Um, I, I knew of Coach Gorgian, so I was always asking Glenn like, hey, like how how is it going out here? Like what's going on? Like you know, and so that's kind of how I got got here. Like he yeah, and then I got in contact with Coach Gorgian. Um, we talked on the phone for, I think our first time we talked on the phone, we were on the phone for about an hour, two hours, just kind of talking basketball. Um, and then it kind of happened really quickly. Like we had, we had the phone call on Saturday 
And before you knew it, I was flying out on Tuesday. Yeah, so it, it happened really quickly. <laughs> I really love the Philippines. I love the Philippines. It's, it's been a great experience. Um, I know that we are in a really great situation where we're living and like I'm lucky to have my teammates. One thing I really love about here is the variety of food. Like I can go around and we can have different types of food all the time. Um, I love that there's not like a huge language barrier as well. So that really helps like the transition phase coming to Asia. Um, and like I really love the fans. Like I feel like they they're very passionate about basketball here and that's what I love. Like that's why I really love the Philippines and playing out here. I feel like I'll always be around the game, but like I'm always open to like exploring other channels and other opportunities. But I can see myself working with youth. Prior to coming out here, I was doing some outreach work in um, the downtown east side and that was one of like my favorite other things outside of basketball things that I've done in my life just I felt really rewarded being able to just share my experiences and helping others um, so I can see myself doing something like that um, but other than that like if you know when I get way older down the road I can definitely see myself maybe you know just building a shed living in the forest enjoying the nature <laughs> that's, that's something I really love to do is going on hikes but yeah, I don't know. Outside of basketball, it's kind of been my, kind of been a big part of my life. <laughs>